Court. Hi, welcome to Wendy's Workshops. Today's workshop is about number sense with your toddlers ages 2 and 3. Most parents want their children to be happy and successful when they grow up. One of the most important skill sets for future success is number sense and math agility. Oddly enough, number sense starts with language. Toddlers hear reference to numbers all the time on TV, radio, and in adult conversation. You can make number language more concrete in lots of different ways all through the day. At mealtime, you can count spoonfuls, or at snack time, put a specific number of items in a bowl and say something to the effect of, here are three crackers for you. Let's count them. One, two, three. When those crackers have been eaten, you might ask them if they would like more. And you could say something to the effect of, would you like more, maybe one or two? Oftentimes toddlers parrot the last things they hear, so they might say, two more. So you can drop them into the bowl. One, two, two more crackers for you. You can count the uh, eyes, ears, legs, feet, antennae on stuffed animals. You can count the wheels on trucks You can count and, and cars. And you can count blocks. You can count all of the red blocks. You can count all of the green blocks. Or you can count all of the blocks together as a set. It's even more fun when you can drop the, the blocks while you're counting into something that makes a lot of noise. One, two, three. Another aid to counting would be to use puppets or mittens and gloves to help you count. For instance, one green block, one yellow block, one red block makes three blocks. One, two, three. Check out your local garage sales and toy stores for sales on little hand puppets and pairs of mittens and gloves. Puzzles are another great tool. For toddlers, I strongly suggest using puzzles that have little knobs. These are easier for their, they um, for their small motor and these nice wooden pieces are easy for their visual acuity and hand-eye motor coordination. Having said that, this puzzle is one of my favorites. It's by a company called Rose Art and I have had some trouble finding it um, an readily available place on the internet so if you happen to find that and you want to uh, email me back where you found Rose Art in a readily available place I'd appreciate it. The great thing about this puzzle is that it has the zero and the pieces come out so they can match the piece into the puzzle but more than that as your toddler goes along we can now make the number 10, the number 20, the number 210, the number 2,108. So it's going to be a very useful puzzle as you go along working with number sense and your toddlers and your children. You can shop when you can count when you go shopping as you add things to the shopping cart. And at bath time, you can count noses, fingers, eyes, and toes as you finish up your bath time. And of course, you can count those new teeth that come in as you brush them. At bedtime consider and nap time, consider stories. There are lots of board books on the market that have things to count, 
start just by looking, turning the pages and pointing to items or characters on each page. Talk about what the characters are doing and do a little bit of counting as you go along. One of my favorite books is this book called Let's Count. The reason I like it is because it is tactile as well. So as you're counting, one shiny green frog, two colored toucans, encourage your toddler to touch the circles and add a tactile sense to, to your counting. There are several books by this same company and um, they're all a lot of fun and children usually enjoy counting with these books. Another book I like and her, uh, the author is Karen Katz. This one is called Counting Kisses about a little cranky, a cranky little girl who's getting ready to go to sleep and they're going to give her kisses on her ten toes, laughing kisses, nine kisses on her wriggly feet, eight kisses on her uh, yummy knees. So this book counts backwards. The great thing is that uh, as you go along, this gives your child an intuitive idea of addition, counting forward, and subtraction, counting backwards. Later, that intuitive concept will also help them with multiplication and division. Another one of my favorite all-time stories is Over in the Meadow, and it is in various um, versions and a great classic. The use of language combined with the manipulation of objects engages the connections in many areas of the brain and increases comprehension and number sense. Look for us again with more Wendy's workshops for your toddlers 3, 4, and 5.